Okay, well, we've got a little experiment here for you. Uh, we're going to try to uh, show what you can do with a little bit of electricity, a few little parts, and uh, charge a battery, and actually uh, do some conditioning on that battery to help it uh, function better. So uh, we're going to have a supply of 120 volt uh, AC that we're going to tap off of and bring it to a full wave bridge rectifier and turn that AC into DC and then take that uh, to some capacitors and build a charge and then use that charge, uh, tap it into the battery by literally tapping and you'll see sparks in the whole thing. And this um, spike of, of like 100, over 100 volts will then go into the 12 volt battery. And that will be just instantaneous, a little spike, boom, boom, boom. And so uh, that, that'll hit that battery nicely and, and then that will cause some changes that normal charging with a conventional charger just wouldn't do. And uh, it won't heat it up because there's very little amperage involved. So um, it will. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll do this and see what you think. So uh, well, let's get started. We have now the uh, components laid out. So I want to go through that, show you just the different parts. It's all real simple. And I think the first thing is I want to make a note here. Um, there are some diodes here, here. I think there's one over here. Uh, and there's this uh, SCR, and none of these things are being used. Um, these are just little pieces of wire. I needed something that I could stick in the end of this 120-volt uh, uh, socket that I could get the electricity out. So I just grabbed something and pinched it, and it'd go in, so that's what I'm using. And uh, these just happen to be on there. This stuff is laying around. This, um, okay, uh, bridge wave, um, Full, full wave bridge rectifier and it just takes the AC alternating current and turns out DC which is direct current and so it's transforming it's changing its form and uh, this you know came off of another experiment it's got a little cap here which I guess I'm sort of using but I'm not really concerned about it and and this SCR is not being used at all it's just that this wire is coming out here it's got the negative DC and I just connected this little wire to it and brought it over to these uh, caps. I've got three caps. They're each um, 10 microfarads and they're good for up to uh, 250 volts. So the three of them combined together in parallel gives me uh, 30 microfarads and again the uh, 250 volt capacity. So then I come off of them and uh, I have the two leads going to the battery. Uh, this one I will uh, hook up here. So that's going to the positive terminal of the battery. And this is the negative, which I will then tap on this one to allow the spikes that uh, the energy is going to build up in the capacitor to flow into the battery. That's, that's what we're going to do here. It's very simple. Uh, the parts are very inexpensive. So this is something you can do at home uh, pretty well, except I would figure out something better for connecting my uh, full wave bridge rectifier to my uh, uh, AC that uh, this is uh, you know, a little scary the way it is right now. So don't do this at home, friends. But uh, well, let's, let's get on with it. Okay, well, we're about ready to get started here. So let's just see where this battery's at right now. And uh, we'll just... Get a good hold in here. So 10.04 volts. That's DC. So that's what we got to start with. So let's just see what we're going to do with that. Uh, I've got it all set up. Got power to it. And I'm going to take, I've already hooked up the, um, the positive lead here to the positive terminal. And I've got the negative lead and now I'm going to just tap it on this negative terminal. And um, you can see here the sparks that come flying off this thing. And see, I'm hesitating just a little bit in between, and that gives the cap a little extra time to build up so we don't, you know. All right, so uh, 
we've uh, shown you how this works taking the uh, 120 AC converting it to DC run it into the caps to build a charge and then dumping it into the battery so uh, what this is doing is going in the battery is a, a very uh, you know high voltage spike uh, it, it hits it like that like a hammer boom and uh, is working on the plates uh, desulfating them and also changing the composition of the plate itself and so this is a process that takes time you'll have to like charge battery and discharge charge battery and discharge and that will uh, in a process of time uh, get rid of the sulfation and start making a crystal matrix out of the lead plates which will increase the capacity and uh, give it more surface area and therefore and because it's um, more structured then it also will take the charge quicker so it's more ordered does a quicker uh, charge uh, more capacity so it lasts longer and uh, now sometimes what will happen is you'll charge it and uh, when you're finished you know doing a session with it or something it might actually read according to the meters uh, a lower reading uh, as if it has less voltage in it but if you're expanding the uh, capacity at the same time of charging it uh, it's sort of like instead of having everything built up in this small area you increase the capacity and it spreads out and reads lower so this is a good example of where meters don't necessarily tell you you know the real story you have to really understand what's going on in order to interpret the data so um, that's something to keep in mind when you're doing these things and keep track of all this and you'll see that over time though that it'll take the it'll start having these characteristics of being better batteries so uh, that's uh, about it one thing i want to tell you is you know there is the possibility that when you're sending these spikes into a battery like this um, if that spike arcs inside it can you know light the hydrogen that's in there and and uh, blow up so you need to take provision keep them covered or something in case that should happen and uh, just be aware that that's a possibility at all times so do things safely and uh, have fun so we'll see you again another project take care